Can you believe the time has finally arrived? This is my last cash stuffing of my savings challenges, not just for December, but for 2021 completely, which means next week I will be coming at you with all of my new savings challenges for 2022. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's get this week taken care of first. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin. I am documenting my journey to complete debt freedom and financial independence. So I am a zero based budgeter. I use a cash envelope system and I also take part in various savings challenges throughout the year. I already counted up what I saved for 2021. I will link that video above if you want to go and see what numbers we were able to come up with. But today I am going to be wrapping up my December savings challenges, which I actually really didn't have a December savings challenge. I was just doing all my normal ones that I was going to be doing. But I do have some additional money that is going in if you noticed from what I have there. So should be super ish quick. And <laughs> this will be my last time with the lights, but Wilma looks so festive. And when she saw how nicely decorated and fancy Fred Jr. was looking over at Snow Gardener 307's channel, she knew she had to up her game. But this is my one of each note challenge and so I am starting with five dollars. So each week I am attempting to put in at least one five, one ten, and one twenty. And then if the budget allows or permits, I will put in additional uh, fifty and one hundred dollar notes. So I've got twenty dollars in there already. If I am able to successfully complete all of these in 2022, then I will save just under ten thousand dollars for the year. So next, I am going to be adding a ten to my ten dollar challenge. Now, by the time this films, not films, by the time this airs, Christmas will have past. So let me know how your Christmas went. Did you stay in a budget? Did you use any of your savings challenges for that? How did it work out for you? Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, just how has your holiday season been going? So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars. We are looking at having some pretty warm weather here for Christmas, obviously, because it is summer. And then so having some warm weather and possibly some rain as well. We will see how it goes and I will talk about that after the time passes, but I did want to get as much taken care of prior to the day and the weekend so that I can focus on spending it with my family. So putting $20 into my $20 challenge, how conveniently named. So that gives me 20, 40, 60, $80 there. And these trackers are available as a downloadable on my Etsy shop. There's three per page. So there is one that has one, five, and 10, and then a second sheet that has 20, 50, and 100. So it's kind of a threefer in that. And then I do sell these envelopes with them and also with the trackers laminated as well. So $20 going in there, $50 going into our $50 challenge. So this is where you start seeing things add up rather quickly is with these 50s and these 100s. And I have said before, I do not anticipate being able to contribute to this every single week out of the year, but we will see. So we have 51, 50, and 200. That is in that challenge. But what I am going to do is when I have additional left over from either unspent money in the budget, et cetera, we'll add it to them. And same with the $100 challenge. So I do have at least one 
dollar note so these last two the 50 and the 100 these are my these really are my stretch challenges that I have so I've got one two three and four so four hundred dollars that is in there I'm going to leave it unzipped because we will come back to that in a minute I have my 26 week challenge this is one that I have been working on just to save up another one thousand dollars we are going to be putting away thirty five dollars this week for that one so we have a 20 a 10 and a five that is going in here and when this one is finished up we will be adding it to our uh, pay for our garage that we are going to be building so we've got one two 53, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So getting really close to the end. And I did do all of most of the larger amounts early on, knowing that with the beginning of the year, I would be focusing on some other things. So that, and then I do have some money left over here as well. Some of this is gonna go into my 13 week challenge. So I'm going to take the 20 and the 10. This money is money that is left over from not spending it from our variable accounts. So we've got 70, dollars that is in there now and so whenever there's money that is left over from the variable spend so my cash envelopes I will just bring it over here and that is what I will put in the reason why we have quite a bit more left over as compared to previous weeks is because it is the holidays so we are doing less driving to work which means that we're not getting hit with as much in terms of fuel or transport even though fuel is still we're still paying for it then also because we cash in our rewards points at our grocery stores here, you can collect points and then you can turn that into money that you can spend in store. And so we did that for our groceries as well. So I have $100 in fifties. So two fifties that I'm going to add to my $50 challenge. This is, so this is going to help, I hope to achieve this particular these two goals on these two challenges so that now actually so if there's weeks where I don't have a, an additional $50 to put in then I have a bit of a cushion so now I have 51 52 53 so $300 is saved up already in $50 bills and surprisingly we also do have uh, $100 bills so we didn't spend the 100s I have two of those but let's put this $50 slip back in with the 50s first before I forget about that and this is not something that will happen I don't think often because I have our variable expenses pretty well honed in for how much we spend so we tend not to go over budget and tend not to come in under budget that's just because we've been doing all of that for so long but still we will color in the 100s here and we might have probably next week some as well because we don't anticipate having much more spending. We don't go out for New Year's or anything like that. Just prefer to stay home. In fact, I'll probably actually, now that the year is fully over, I'll probably spend New Year's Eve counting all of my coins and there will be a ridiculously long video on that because I've been collecting them all year long. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So $600 in our $100 challenge. Not a bad way to end the year. There is probably close to about $2,000 that we have in our challenges total in this binder which for just starting most of it in December. So I only started the 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 at the beginning of December, 26 week I've been doing for a while. And the summer savings is started at the beginning of December as well. So just kind of putting things away. But again, I didn't have a whole lot of other challenges that were going on. Everything changes up come the new year in terms of differences in income, differences in budgeting, differences in our sinking funds and all of that. And a few new challenges being added that I'm just going to be doing for the entire year, plus starting 
the budget mom savings challenges as well. So that will be something to look forward to as we begin anew and see if we cannot meet, if not exceed what we were able to save this year and also achieve those big saving goals that we have set up for ourselves as well. So I hope that you had, because again, this will come out after Christmas. I hope that if you celebrate Christmas, that you had an absolutely amazing day, that it was filled with joy. And if you only tune in for the savings challenge videos, I will see you next year. Oh, 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 oh,